So the first part is the preparation of ATAS system before starting it. There are four parts you gonna uh, notice it before using the ATAS system. First of all, as you can see, there's a pipe A and pipe B, right? One is uh, a buffer wire, okay? So if you're not using it, we have to put okay A and B inside the Yanai's water. So before we starting the contestant system, we're gonna to take out the B and immerse into the 20% Itan. Okay, so the second part is the pump. Okay, as you can see the pump is the cover is open and the wire is putting outside. So before starting it we have to put this wire, white wire inside and then close the cover. Okay, so this is the second part. Okay. Then the third part is the connections of the column. You're gonna to unwind this, okay, and then connect to your column. For me, I'm using the uh, heat strike column. Okay, last but not least, okay, you have to switch on the button. Okay. So now the ATA system is ready to be used. As you can see, okay, for the first part, okay, the, okay, the pipe B is putting into the interface down. Okay. Then, the second part, okay, for the pump part, okay, the white wire okay, is already putting into the pump and then the, uh, the cover is closed. Okay. Then the third part is the connection of the Column. As you can see, okay, I'm ready, okay, ready, um, pairing my column. Okay, so the last part, okay, is the okay, switching of the button in here. Okay. So now, the other star system is ready to be used. So now, I'm going to teach you how to um, operate the uh, size exclusion chromatography by using the software system. So basically the software system that we gonna use is Unicorn Start 1.1. Okay? It's a bit uh, older versions. So, okay. Yes. In order to uh, control the uh, the operations of the uh, Atasa system. Okay, we just, we're gonna to select the uh, uh, system control. Okay, first of all, you have to connect uh, the Atasa system. Okay, with your computer. So let's uh, press the connect button first. Okay, so the system is ready to be used. Okay, for uh, any run, okay, or your first run in the day, okay, you should, okay, clean the pump okay, and also your column, okay. So, therefore, I'm gonna to teach you how to wash the pump A, pump B, and also the column, okay. As you can see, we have to select, okay, the metal run, okay, you select the predefined, okay, and then in the view part, you can select the system preparation. Then we choose the folder name called Pump Wash. So now, as you can see, you can select whether you want to wash okay, A, B, or center. So, firstly, I'm gonna to wash the, uh, the A first, okay? The pump. Okay. So, next, okay, then start. So during the washing, okay, washing of the uh, pump and boy pump B, okay, the absorber reading uh, is not uh, uh, accurately start from zero. So it was not a big problem. So as long as when you start injecting your sample, okay, your absorber reading should be uh, start from zero. Okay. So for the the cleaning of the pump A, it around takes. Uh, around 
two to three minutes. Okay, the um, the washing will be enter until ten ml. Okay, ten ml here. Okay, so um, if you finish. Um, the washing, so there will be a notification sound comes up. Okay, so next one, I'm gonna to wash my thumb B. So actually, it's just keep repeating. Okay, it's exactly same like washing thumb A, but you need to uh, notify. Okay, you should choose the thumb B. Okay, not the pump end. Okay, so the volume for washing the pump B is exactly same like pump A, like uh, around 10 ml. So when the washing achieves the 10 ml, the washing of the pump will be uh, terminated. Okay. Notification sound will come out again. Okay, once you finish your washing. So now, I'm gonna to show you how to uh, clean the pump. So for me, uh, I'm using my um, my define uh, method to wash my column. So basically, the method you can uh, edit it in the in the method editor. Okay. So for me, I choose method uh, TA latest because my uh, because. I'm doing the Tuka Ali uh, experiment. Okay. So for this one, you also need to uh, adjust according to the sample you run. Okay, uh, adjust according to the sample I run, which is the Tuka Ali. Okay, so this one is not really have to follow exactly same like me. Okay, then start. So for this step, uh, it takes around 15 to 20 minutes. So have to be patient to wait until the uh, the column washing uh, finish. Okay. So after that, okay, you can start injecting your sample. So now, okay, how we know that the uh, washing of the of the column complete? Okay. So after around uh, 25 minutes, okay. In my case, okay, after 25 minutes, okay, there will uh, notification sounds come out and shows this, okay. Turn the manual injection swap to uh, inject the position and press continue. So, which means now I can start, okay, injecting my sample, okay, and loading into my system, okay. So, now you're gonna do, okay, prepare your sample, okay, your string, and also your filter. So, now I'm gonna to start. Injecting my uh, samples before we injecting our samples, so we're gonna um, prepare okay, string okay, for samples and also the um, uh, nylon uh, filter. So, the purpose of using this uh, nylon membrane is to filter okay, the unwanted, uh, unwanted material that will uh, affect our uh, chromatography. Okay. So, this is the uh, final. okay. After we um, sucking our sample into the string, okay. So the nylon filter need to uh, connect to the uh, string. So before we injecting the uh, sample, okay. So now I'm gonna to okay, uh, immerse, okay. Insert, okay. Insert to the okay. See, okay. Injection, injection swap, okay. So we need to push big, okay. Like this. Okay. So before we injecting, okay, you need to okay switch okay this button okay from the okay lock sample into the inject to the column okay. And also remember that okay, don't try to push okay 
and inject okay, the samples one side. It will cause really high pressure which will damage our uh, other system. So for my suggestion, I think you, you can okay, uh, separate the injection into a few times. So first of all, maybe I try to inject okay, a bit first. Okay. A bit only, okay, a bit only, okay, a bit until I feel the pressure, okay? okay. Then I load the sample first. So the sample, okay, will be loading into the, okay, into here, okay, for, before the running, okay? So now, okay, I switch again to inject to the color, and then, okay, keep, okay, injecting my sample. Just a bit. Then I uh, load my sample again. So you can keep repeating for a few times until you keep completely injecting your samples. So this is my final part. Final part. We also switch to the load sample. Injection is complete. Okay, just leave it a bit. Okay. Okay. So now, okay, I'm ready. Okay, finish injecting my sample. So in order to keep running my uh, sample and loading to the system, I have to press okay confirm and uh, continue. Okay. For now, okay. If you press the confirm continue, okay, the loading of the sample will starting now. Okay. So okay, before you okay, uh, confirm and continue, okay, you should okay prepare a few uh, falcon tube, okay, and uh, for thirty falcon tubes to collect the 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 sample, uh, not the sample, uh, the effluent, okay, flowing. Out from the system. Okay, so later I will show you the uh, show you how to uh, put the uh, falcon tubes. Okay, now let's start. Okay, okay. okay. In order to finish the the uh, the, the flowing out of the flowers, we will <coughs> take around mm, another uh, uh, thirty to forty five minutes. So you should be patient while waiting your samples uh, to for waiting your flowers to come out. Okay. Okay. So this is the end for the run okay so the there's a uh, errors alarms of warning come out which last still has been reached change tubes uh, in the fractions collector and press continue to continue it which means if you want to continue okay uh, with the same run so you can uh, you can uh, change the tube in the fraction collector and press continue to run again now okay but for me uh, i will end it okay then i will uh, repeat the washing of the bump A, bump B, and also the column, and then a new run can be conducted. Okay, so I'm gonna end it. Okay, okay.